lined up for guests. I either have a fireman or a refugee from Israel. So um, comment which one you. I think I should get on the podcast first. I have first. no fucking idea who that. I think that's even better that I don't know who it is, but I have no idea who you're referring to. Oh, I know. You do know him or you know the I know. Person? I know the person. Oh, I don't So know. I said I have two people I feel like I have lined up next for the okay, podcast. Okay, cool. So and two people I want to actually make a... Like a list and whatnot. That would be cool. Be prepared. Yeah. I would probably have Sober them watch a little bit of our old episode. Hmm? I would want them to watch like some of our other stuff, you know? No. Don't have them. Just well, I know the them. kid for sure. Uh -oh. And I just know some of the firemen down there. Yeah. So there's some of them are pretty cool people. This is like the best show on YouTube, right? Yeah. Now. I and probably won't like show it. the firemen it. I'll probably show my friend. Okay. What would we ask a fire? Oh, I guess, yeah, sorry. Yeah, what do you mean? Comment. What would we ask a fireman? Firemen are lit, bro. No, I... You know how many crazy <laughs> stories the fireman probably has? From running yeah, okay. into people's burning down houses I and shit? It, or just, they have to respond to almost all, like, yeah. calls, period, you know? Yeah, you know how much wild shit they probably see? I mean, no, shootouts no, and whatnot? I'm not they saying, gotta like, there's nothing to ask them. I'm saying, what would we ask them? Like, we would need to talk about what we're going to ask Yeah, but them. right in this middle of this episode isn't the best time to I talk about that, the next bro. episode. But you just said it like I wasn't, like, you didn't even finish all I'm saying. You know, you're just like, yeah, oh, no, no, I, I said, no, wait a minute, what no, would you, what I just, would you say? But I also just did like, say that I had to, like, bring notes and shit like that and get prepared for them. When did you say that? <laughs> I have it recorded, bro. And oh, I just said it like. Just like, now? No, just a couple of seconds. Like before, I just said it obviously right now. Like just now. No, like, you did not say that in this setting right now. You did not say that in this I setting. That's why he did ask. Hey, hey, wait. Hey, hey, guy. I'm not going to argue either one. I have it recorded. I have it like oh, recorded. Yeah. So we're going to run it back and then stop we're going to be recording, like, you know, run it back and then we'll Right see. now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop we can pause recording. it right now. Yeah, pause it and let's see. All right, we'll be, we'll be right back. Wow, y'all, are y'all serious? <laughs> but I have no idea who you're referring to. Oh, I know. You do know him, or you know the I know, person? I know the person. Oh, but I don't so know. I said I have two people I feel like I have lined up next for the okay, podcast. Cool. So and two people I want to actually make a like a list and whatnot. That would be cool. Be prepared. Yeah, I'll probably have. Yeah, is it back on? Fuck these niggas, cause oh, they. Oh, lying. we back on? Yes, sir. Um. Sorry, we had to take a quick break there because we had to... Yeah, he had a job to go run to real quick. Well, actually, I think... I mean, you kind of took off your name like, really fast, but we just got an emergency call. Um, it's like a bad signal to save the world. Uh, what was it, like 32,000 like dams for like a 1,000 cities, you know? It was roughly... I'll say if you want to round oh, it not, up. Sorry, not thousand, a million cities. And it was my like, bad. I always, yeah. you know, I always get the extra digits. Yeah. You know, the digits it's, just, it's they always you come know in. It's, it's like almost like too fluid for us, you know? And I just feel like, you know, it's not really work. You know, we, we do, we save the world a lot, bro. Mm. I don't know what it is about us. Like, it's it's like a, it's not really a job, bro. Probably like Scott I, Pilgrim, man. It's like a hobby. Did he save the world? Uh, I think that's what the movie. I was thought called. it was about like ex girlfriends. And stuff. Hey, don't worry about it. Bro. What? what was the movie called? Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. There you go. But saving it, it sounds like he's against. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he beating the shit. Yeah, he's beating the shit out the world. They just call it Batman against the world, nigga. Yeah, that nigga is beating the shit out of civilians, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> just let Batman that shit has the number one but cases you get for in assault. You would nigga. not get in Batman's face, bro. <laughs> like, fuck. That shit's tough. The most assault worldwide. Yeah, <laughs> it's, just... it's super. Yeah, fuck. Uh, shit, no murders, um, all assault. Oh yeah, no, I was dead wrong. He did say something similar to that. No. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's my bad. That is my bad. But oh, yeah, we saved the world. I think they gave you like a special hat, didn't they, for saving the world? I mean, this is the only way to really validate Bro, if we did anything. That's what it was. Yeah. That's what it was. That's what it was. Okay. You know what you remind me of? What? Greatness. Thank you. Yeah. If I give you all my love. It's crazy, you know? If I give you all my love. Would that would make, make you, you happy? happy? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that That's nigga not here sucks for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga is there. Yeah. Hey, uh, man, he shit. had a lot of things going. You think he could beat uh, that nigga Jay in a boxing match? Uh, I haven't seen either of them fight in person. I know Jay. You haven't seen them fight? You didn't see Jay get jumped? Yeah, well, the... I didn't see it. It's smooth. Like, it's like we watched Hell it. Hella smooth. We watched it get worse, you know? You know what's funny? I think if we rewind it and go back, we'll see our eyes just like, uh, <laughs> just filled with just disgust. Right 
interrupt. No, I appreciate the like consideration of trying to be of trying to be smooth. It was, it was just, just horrible wasn't. execution. It, the execution. it was terrible. You yeah. did a terrible to the point job. it was probably worse than asking at this point. Yeah, you could have just asked and it would have been like, oh, okay. Or is it better? I don't know because I was laughing now. Like, yeah. It's all good. But since we broke it up, shit, can I see that now? Used, you done hit it? So you done hit it now? came in the pack when we were unloading everything. We'll and make I'm just happy. stretching it out because I didn't know you could stretch them out. That's in case I wonder what I'm doing. I'm going to put these away now. I feel weird. I got Allen keys now. Uh, thank you guys for coming to uh, my special performance. Um, how do you? What do you? How do you feel again? This song. Okay, bro. When you be on Facebook Alicia and shit. Keys. Then it. Then it. Then it. Then it. Then it. Then it. Done. All aboard! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did that. That's Ozzy Osbourne. That's, yeah. yeah, I love that song. I don't uh, know if I was exactly on that, but I yeah. I don't love it. But actually. the all the board part was Ozzy. Yeah. I was just hitting just some keys together. Love the claim I know. But oh, white if people you songs. Hold your keys. But what was like I just gonna say, this. nigga? Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, everything you say is too, bro. What the fuck you just interrupt me for? Hey, bro. Uh, fuck, I you forgot. My bad. I You're see your that. own like <laughs> host and stuff. Let me do my own thing. Look at this. Look at this. Come on, I was me. just gonna ask you how you feel about white people food hacks. Like when you go on Facebook and shit, and white be... people food hacks. Yeah, I think they're not hacks. I think they are just dumb. Mm. Yeah. Here I come, guys. Wait, bro. White people food hacks. You don't like sherbet ice cream in the toilet with <laughs> wait, um, whipped no. cream, no. sprinkles, or that person who just. Poured a bucket of nacho cheese on the table and was Or the like, person who made spaghetti on their counter for a guest, like for like a party. Like if you have a party coming over and you want a large amount of spaghetti, she put out plain noodles. It was a tray of plain. <laughs> Nigga, didn't cook them with the sauce, nothing. Didn't cook the sauce. So she cooked the noodles, of course, because you know they noodly. And then didn't cook the sauce, season it, or anything. Took it straight out the ragu bottle. Hey. Got the dumping it on I, everything. Bro, I don't know how many times we get called to save the world. Probably a lot. There's just some shit we can't fix. Nigga, if Batman ever needed to be called, nigga. To, yeah. It was on that lady, nigga. Necks and shit. Yeah, and Another lady, bro, was cooking a giant nacho bowl, that. bro. That's legal to do. It should be illegal. For this is exactly do, another reason why we need HR to pull up in a compilation of the white people doing it. We need HR for that. Like what we're saying, right? No pay, no benefit, nothing like that. Yeah. You get to be around us. So I mean, yeah. that is technically a benefit. Yeah. But it's cool. Um, I could, whoever I do get HR on, I could train them on how to use OBS and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. It's just using like basic human stuff or basic human stuff. <laughs> you have to be a human. No, actually. <laughs> Are we niggas? You don't have to be a human. I mean, I would appreciate if you're not. It'd be cool. You cooler. don't have to pay. Yeah. I mean, if you're like. like or if you're a Chinese kid, then. Just knowing basic stuff on the computer, you know? Actually, sorry, no, it's really high tech yeah, stuff. It's fucked up, nigga. Throw away your iPhone, then, nigga. Alright, then, nigga. How fucked up? How fucked up is it? They can take yeah, off them true. shoes, nigga. Yeah. Let me get true. them shoes off you since it's so fucked up, nigga. Oh shit, my bad. I'm fucking with. Oh, bro, throw away your TV, nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga, I ain't say nothing. Nigga. Yeah. I appreciate the most Chinese oh, boys. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's some. That's some shit. We need. I would appreciate it if they wasn't them, though. But it's also, I think it's a little odd to be... Like a machine could do it, you know? No, I, I think it's a little odd to announce, like, you super deep down, like, oh, this is terrible, and then refuse to not use their products. Mm. Like, you don't need an iPhone. Right. You don't need Nikes. You don't... But, but you get them because of fad. And you care more about a fad than you do about these... Like little Asian kids' lives, you know, and then to pretend like you're like, oh, we gotta fight for them, and then while rocking like wow, the new pair, is, you yeah, know, like, and if you really did care, you just wouldn't get the shit and go rock something else, and then make them change, because the like, if they don't have no one to sell the shoes to, they're not gonna keep doing it. Like, if it was a fear of them selling nothing or just making more profit because they get cheaper labor, they're gonna choose something over nothing, like you know, like. 
Yeah, but you can't, true. you know, you either got to be cool with it or you're going to not use the shit, you know? And it's fucked up the things that, like, I know, like, I'm already thinking yeah. like that, but... Like you nigga, who, it's like who's that. judging me, nigga? You're not watching this because yeah. you probably don't got your fucking phone on you, huh? So, <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> yeah. Gotta, if you're watching you this, just say you can't say shit phone. to me. But <laughs> that is very true. I don't, I'm a hypocrite. You know what? I'll also, admit it, it's though. like, and we're just, you know, do do what you please, right? But I I asked somebody this, and I was surprised about the answer. It was like if you found like you just start talking to this person. Like, you know, y'all met on like, not, but you know, DM, Instagram, stuff like that. And they like hella cool. You get them the number and stuff. You buy a text them, you send them one text. And that text message is green. They got an Android. Muscle wing. Oh. Yeah. Must have switched phones on the team. Okay. Remember when you left me in between? That was 2017. No. You don't know that song? No, I do. No. 17. You said it right there. That's the song name? I think so, yeah. I don't think so. What is it called? It's a Drake song. It's like one of the new ones, isn't it? It's not one of the new ones. Mm, it's like... You love me in between. It's like Passion Fruit. That was like when the album came out. Mm, then it came around. <laughs> you know Anyways, what I like. If you like the person, so right, but they had a Samsung, would you still fuck with them? Yeah. Wow. I don't like... It doesn't... Why does it matter? FaceTime? I don't care much. I don't FaceTime like that, you know? Like, I think oh. it's cool when they do it, Whoa, but... I disagree with you. I think you always FaceTime. I FaceTime people who I can, yeah. Who... Okay, so... Like, but do, if I can't FaceTime you, you yeah, like, it's not that big of a deal. You just like, call you know? them. Yeah. Would you add them on Snapchat? Yeah, why oh. not? I have emojis? a bunch of people on Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> you know emojis I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. You could deal with that? <laughs> They being like, I didn't get that one. Sending me screenshots of like squares with question marks in them and shit. Yeah. Have you really thought about this? Yeah. Be honest with yourself. <laughs> I fucked people with Android before. You being serious right now? <laughs> hey. Fuck me. Are you being fucking serious right now? You wait till now to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just, hey, let's, you know. Switch the topic. Switch the topic. All right. If you had to pick a color. A color? Yellow or green. For what? Like, everything gets replaced with that color. So this, like a lemon, would be green. And everything that's already green, everything green, that's everything green, that's yellow green, is yeah. now green. Yeah. So, it so just money green would now. be yellow. Oh, uh, yellow. yellow. You want everything to be yellow? Yeah. Yellow trees and shit. Yellow uh, trees. You know, I feel grass. like. I mean, I yellow, feel like a lot of the shit. Like t- healthy yellow grass sounds icy, you know? That, does that sound sounds golden, you know? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, What else is green? Nigga? Green's just an ugly color. Yellow peas and shit. Okay. Sounds more appetizing than green peas. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we like we like to bullshit a lot, you know? I feel like there's some things that y'all don't know about us that y'all should. And uh, let's go with you, uh, Sincere. What's something that you feel like people should know about you? Any day now. (laughs) (laughs) Nigga, you answer, man. (laughs) I think y'all should know that I'm, like, a big music fan. Like, I like all types of genres of music and stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm really big into, like, civil rights. Like y'all should know that Are about you? me. Yeah, you're really big in the civil rights. Yeah, like I be like it's weird because like I don't find myself to be a political person, but it's like you consider yourself an advocate. Advocate? Are you an I ally? Mean, like what, like, like, what, what do advocate? you do? Like to some degree, like like, just like mean, I'm saying, like what do you do? Like if it's something like there's a social injustice, right? Yeah, like, I'll like, share you like it. donate to the place or something. Yeah, I mean it's something like if I felt that strongly about it, like why you donated. I? I mean, I've, I have donated before, if yeah, that's what you're asking. Yeah. I don't remember the thing. I think it was like a GoFundMe, to be honest. I think it was a GoFundMe. Well, obviously, it was a GoFundMe, but... Until the... Like yeah, that. cool. <laughs> the actual Come on. 
I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't like the thing. Like, I'm not saying I'm big in the fact that like yeah. I'm involved into it. Yeah, but like, I'm ra- like I'm rallies that, like, or anything. Yeah, like, but I'm saying like no. for me, like I pay attention. What I'm I, saying like I, the rallies and shit. Have I been somewhere? Yeah. No, I haven't been uh, somewhere. Yeah. You just be sharing facial posts. I'll be, I mean, I'll be sharing stuff too, but also Sneak like for me. Next, Martin Luther King. Guys. <laughs> I'm on the come up, guys. Hear about me. Malcolm no, I'm X saying, who, like, for me, get? like for me, it's not something uh, like. I'm, no, I'm just, like, I'm, I'm just. Playing, yeah, no, you all yeah. good. I get you. I'm just saying, like, it's something that's no, like, not, like, like the shit that I be, <laughs> the shit that I be seeing and stuff. Like, it gets to my head, like you know, and it makes me feel like I actually get like when I see them pass bills and shit. That's just like absolute bullshit. I get actively upset with yeah. you. Yeah. Know? So you like make sure you actively vote and whatnot. Yeah. And, and like also, know who you're voting for and whatnot. Yeah, kind of. No, I don't. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I do not do that. But I mean, I'm going to, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think like like last election and stuff, when like I, I did vote and stuff, yeah. I was just like, damn, like. Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I said, you can't wait to vote for Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, Who'd you vote for for Oregon? Can I finish, bro? Can I finish what the fuck I'm saying, bro? Like, I, I done been trying to get one thing out of my fucking thing. All I'm saying is that, like, I'm big into shit like that. Like, some of the role models I stated early and stuff, like, I read into that. I'm interested into that. Like, I do believe there's just, like, a level of understanding that everybody needs to have. You yeah. know, that's what I meant. Like, like, it's just being civil. You know, you don't need to be wild and shit like that. I mean, oh, it's, not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. It's funny because I'm saying that, and it's like I will not give you a dollar. <laughs> like I refuse to. <laughs> oh. I mean, you know, it's something where you're like, yeah, it seems dumb for me to say some shit like that now. But I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, I'm just a big person that's like into just things being good, you know. Like, like, I don't know who you are, and this is just me, person. You know, I don't know who you are and what you are, but I do believe that you have your own choice to do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. You know, as long as you're not hurting like, like anybody else. And mm-hmm. even then, it's like your body and stuff like that. So a big thing for me, and I, I, I don't know, I don't know if this is, yeah, it is controversial, I guess. But to me, it's not like a man shouldn't like tell a woman what to do with their body. You know, and I'm talking about like aborting and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you talking? What are you, how do you get into this? I'm just saying like it's pro-choice. Oh, okay. Like, like I feel like that's up to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't up to us. Yeah. For sure. You know. So for me seeing like things get passed, making things law that they can't do what they want and it's their body, like I, I, I get frustrated at that. You know. Mm. And I actually did think about becoming like a politician and stuff. Mm. But it's like I don't know, I gotta look more into that role before I start saying some things. But I could just see like a lot of negatives about it. You yeah. Know? Um, I guess another interesting thing about me, let's see, I like anime. But I mean, you know, who who doesn't? Anime's fucking raw as hell. Yeah. Um. I I like. I've been told before like, that kind of like a philosopher. Mm. You know, like it's the way I feel I, like weaknesses are juicier, bro. What are your, what are your weaknesses? What are my weaknesses? You know? Weaknesses. Like are most juicy. your biggest hardships. You know. Okay. Like um, something. Wait, you do you have anything that you want to say like about you? My like, biggest. My biggest. No, weaknesses? no, no. Just, yeah, I guess you could start it off. Yeah. Um. Shit. I'll say some of my biggest weaknesses are uh, expressing to people that I care about. And I think that's a pretty gen, like, I mean that, like, generally, so not just, like, relationship shit or whatever, you know? Like, so shit like that, too, okay. like, and it affects, like, a lot to do, like, relationships and shit. You don't love your mother. Um, wow. <laughs> just, I mean, you could just say it. Like, you don't love your mother. No, I love my mom. I love your my mom. Your mother didn't love you. Um, wow. And no. that's why I hope struggled. she did. I hope she She tells me she does. But she never showed it. No, I mean, why she did. You're very, she, she tells like, me. She, she tells you. Yeah. Now. She know it did. Even when you were younger. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. One, One pretty nice lady, yeah. One memory. Of her telling I don't think all the time. Like I don't All the time? Then just name one. What do you? Every time we get off the phone. No, that's now. I'm talking about when you. Every were time I got done talking to her, I left somewhere. All right, bye. Just I give me you. one time, bro. Nigga, like, I, what, what does that like, mean? Okay, I left daycare one time, and yeah, then before story. she left, she's like, "All right, bye, I love you." Wow. I think we know why you have that weakness. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> From your parents showing 
Yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead. You're not used to showing affection because you never was shown affection. Where did that show I was not showing affection? You said you have a tough time telling people that you like care about them. Like, yeah, but affection. how did that, how did my mom telling me that she loves me and where to go to that? You are so lost. <laughs> me as well. I am lost now, nigga. All right, go ahead. What's yeah, I'm going to go back to what I was saying. Yeah, go ahead. Nothing you just said makes sense. That's okay. Your mom's a great person, by the way. She's yeah. a fantastic person. She just doesn't love you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That's what makes her her, and that's her choice. What? All right, go ahead. Cut all of that. I'm cutting. <laughs> I'm keeping that part in. Yeah, okay. um, Talk no. Questions. I just, like, I don't know. I think I have, like, a... Like a confidence issue from when I was a kid <laughs> like with my words and shit like that so I don't always feel confident in saying certain things like I was never a relationship nigga as a kid or like I was never clicked up like that as a kid so I think just talking with people in general has been like a harder mm -hmm. harsher step but then I've gotten used to that because I have to talk to people period but getting like deeper into like relationships and shit like that. Yeah, I don't have too many like people I'm used to like expressing that I care about. So I feel like maybe that could lead to like relationships never being as like strong as I want them to because I've hard time telling those people how much I do care about them. Mm -hmm. You know. So yeah, I think that yeah. plays even a lot. though if I do care, even like I might show it differently. Yeah. I just, have a very hard time doing it with the words. Do you believe in the in yeah. the like the saying like you don't know what you got till it's gone? Mhm. Mm yeah, you do believe in that. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think it Some again. Degree. I think that depends on the like the circumstance okay. because I felt like that after like breakups or something like that, and I'm mm. like, wow, like I really didn't know what the fuck like do I had going a, on until after it was oh, done. Like, do you have but, a good breakup like? Uh. Like, <coughs> no, I'm saying like like a, a great breakup coping mechanism, like that you could share to our viewers. Like, hey, if you're if you just no. got through a breakup, <laughs> I, go have, I don't park. think I properly <laughs> dealt with any of my breakups. Like, properly, like, yeah. like I don't think I went about them the right way. You know? Ah, like, well, okay. So probably, like, if there was a list of ways that like a therapist or something would give you, I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure what I did wasn't I, on the list. I don't. List, I don't you know? know if this is you know. Cause, I mean, yeah. you know, we've all been through some type of breakup. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but this is how I do it. Mm -hmm. And I guess this might be like a very weird thing to do. It's uh like any like hardships you go through, like a breakup or you know somebody passing or any any type of pain you feel. Like my number one thing is to like like embrace the fuck out of it. And so like what I mean by that is like accepting it for what it is, and then like. I like intentionally like feel t to like two times as much. Like if I'm like just like hurting, I'll make it like painful, you know, like I take it to an extreme. That way, like this new low that I've set for myself, I will never get there again. You know, cause you're always kind of like something that bugs you one time, like, and you make it hurt. Like you're never gonna feel hurt about that one thing. So like with the breakup and stuff, like for me, it's almost like a like a weird like shelling type of process, which I guess sounds terrible, but it's like you're gonna go through hardships and you're gonna feel it, but you want to make sure you give your body and yourself that utmost like uh, like sensation, you know, because it's something that's gonna wake you up and make you realize like damn, like I got shit to look forward to, like damn. You have I an got example. Going on. So like um, I, I'm I'm a person like I think a lot. You know, I illuminate on the future and I reminisce in the past a lot. I have mm -hmm. a tough time living in the present mm -hmm. because of just like shit that I've been through, shit that I think of. So for me, when I go through like a breakup and stuff, like I'll feel all the hurt at that specific point in time because after that day, I'm not feeling shit. Like I'm just focusing on what I got to do that day and shit like that. So if you give 50% of your attention and time to just feeling hurt, on that half day you gave it, oh, okay. you're gonna feel another day. Okay, no, it just sounded like you was hurt. really living in the present then. Yeah. Well, just now, like, what do you mean? 
Like you're just like I have a hard time staying like in the present, and I always say like in the future, the past, and yeah, shit like that. So I thought you were gonna say like yeah. you stay reminiscing in the past and whatnot. Yeah, no, in that but moment, then you say like, like you're really good, like just that focusing hurts, so it I, in like, there. Yeah, I just and then not put all my shit else. into that one feeling of just whatever that if it's pain, it's pain. You know, I focus mm-hmm. all my shit into that, so that way I can move on from it. You know, yeah. Because if yeah, I about to say because you. Yeah, like if you give it like one, two, ten minutes, like you try shrugging it off, like you're not getting nowhere. Like if I gotta hurt, I'm gonna give myself all day to hurt. Yeah. Because I'm not gonna let it fuck with me after that point in time. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, I mean, I yeah, no, I think that sounds me. really nice. I don't even give myself. I don't know, I, I don't know, yeah. like I've pretty sure I've. I mean, I like, like I know, like I, I hear, I hear, you know? I don't, I don't know. I think it's weird to argue you, how you deal with yeah. it, you know? Like, I can't, like that doesn't probably, work, yeah. like, you know? But, but like, but, I feel like I've but felt that's good, for, though, because oh, that means that you have your own way of doing it. Yeah, so, like, yeah. what is your way of doing it? Because mine is like, hey, bro, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to take it hard. But yeah, yours, but it sounds like you're real good at, like, passing shit up quickly. Like, yeah. because, like, for you to hurt for just a day, especially on something yeah. like that you consider, like, heartbreak or something, is like, that's pretty... I mean, that's pretty. Yeah, no, that's I mean, a pretty I'm, hard I'm say, switch like, to be able I mean, to pull, nigga. Like I'm saying, that's some strong shit to do for. A, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, I'm it saying like, I'm be, saying like, I'm saying okay, all right, like, like I'm saying, give yourself. Okay, time, hold, hold on, hold on, damn, yeah. y'all. Like every time I just I got like two words. Like right. give, give me a, give right, me a ahead, second. Yeah, I'm saying, ahead. like you could express yourself out hello one day and then push it out the rest of the day, but then. To say that, like, you don't feel it, like, at all. Yeah. Like, you had mustered out all the emotions, and, like, mm. now you got to the point where, like, you don't feel that thing at all. Like, I don't, I, I don't think that's how, like, a real, like, I think that shit lingers. Like, I don't think it's something you could control. Like, you know, but if that's how it works for you, like, if, like, that's how it feels for you, I can't yeah. argue that's how that shit works. Shit. But, like, for me, if I went through, like, a heartbreak and shit, you know, like I've had the days of like hard pain and shit, and then be able to like just like g out like whatever the fuck else I gotta like go through, you know. Mm. And then like, but like not obviously not let that shit like focus or like get the rest of my like like life and whatnot. But it's still like an inside feeling like I know what's up, you know. Like like I just can't <clears throat> kick those I guess feelings that like are. Mm. You know, they're not intentional. They just, they yeah. come in your body. They There's come like and go. A, I so I just know those things would still come in. But, like, being able to, like, focus and not, like, let that shit interfere with your actual day to day, that shit you could control. Yeah. And, like, I could, like, advocate for, like, you not having to mope around for days on days. Like, you know, get your shit out and get the rest of your day going. But to say, like, I just don't feel it now, like, I I'm, I personally don't feel like, like, I could just be like, fuck, well, no, nope, that shit's going on. I cried about it yesterday, you know? Mm. Like, I ain't gonna cry about it every day, but shit, like, I ain't, I'm gonna be lying if I say I just don't feel no type of way towards yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no, you I know? feel you too, and it's not like, like, I mean, like, like I said, it's more like, like a shelling, like, for us. Yeah, especially if that's somebody you I cared it, about, like, you know? You really, like, like it's always gonna hold some type of weird place. Yeah, like, no, for sure. Like, like whether I let it fuck up my life or not. Like, yeah, like, no, I'm saying, like, some people just, like, like, what I was saying, like, a lot of people, like, Sometimes I'm guilty of it too, like just reminisce about the past and like the memories that you had. Yeah. Like I was saying more of like yeah. give yourself time to to hurt. Yeah. And no, make but sure where that I was going with that was like I'm saying like the issue with like people reminiscing like in the past yeah. or whatnot was that like they stay in like only the good memories and shit mm. after a breakup. Is that they're not like remembering like why the shit actually didn't work nah, out in the first place. Like, that, yeah. like they only remember back on the sweet, weird shit that they that they were going on. Yeah. You know, like those awesome days, but then, like, when they get back into the shit, and like, they then they remember, oh, every day was Sorry. miserable, but every weekend we might go out and do some shit, you know, like, shit like that. That's why I was going with the reminiscing part, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's why I was thinking, like, like, everybody's gonna do it differently, you know. Some people like to go outside, some people like to stay indoors and yeah. do their own thing. Honestly, like, without really being like too, nigga, the stage is to that shit for a reason. Yeah, I was gonna say like, without being too like just ignorant about the fact that like, just saying the word pain makes it seem like oh, it's just something that you could just like, nah. 
Like, I'm saying, like, there's a reason that you feel like that way, and you should embrace it, you know? Because, like, the mistakes you make, you got to embrace them. Like, the good times you had, you got to embrace them. Like, you shouldn't leave something like hating a person just because y'all didn't work out. And you shouldn't hate yourself because it didn't work out. Because mm. at the end of the day, it's like, yeah. it's just going it's gonna to roll how it's going to roll. Yeah. And it's like, if you if you fight it and you're not living in the present, yeah. like, you're illuminating, like, what shit could have been, and then you're yeah. reminiscing about what shit was. Yeah, I yeah. end up getting, like, a weird perspective on, like, that love shit and especially how it affect how it should affect you like after you're done with somebody mm. and it was like if you actually did like love that person yeah. like i like my dad like how he talks about like my stepmom that's who i got it from he was like he loves my stepmom to the point like she doesn't have to have like her vagina could fall off like being, <laughs> he's being funny but he's like her vagina could fall off and the relationship's not gonna be no different you know, it's just like the bond that they have, like created of like it's just like a family, like knit thing. Like we're like just like together. Like it's like almost like a friendship, just bonded in glued type thing. You mm -hmm. know, but it's not like resided in things like say, like even if they weren't together and she was married or fucking with the next nigga, like it's still like like they still carry that like love and like respect like for each other even if it's not like on a sexual romantic like level and shit like that you know so I, I think like if you could go from like oh i love this person and then be like oh fuck them for like did i hope they like piss die and it's like i don't like nigga. i think it was probably nigga, it's just more likely just a feeling at like one point but like for you to make that like mindset of it outside of feeling and it's just it's just like like the love is like more of like a bond, like agreement, like onto them. Like mm. I feel like y'all two probably know each other, and I think that's why it's probably hard to find love like that outside of being an adult, just because of just on a biological level, again, your brain doesn't develop fully until like twenty twenty five, and no matter how grown you feel or how fast you had to grow up, your brain still isn't like finished developing. So even if you are like adapted to the world as an adult like you still are adapting into your character mm. like period so what you like now you might not like later which that other person likes now they might not like later it's not shit you can control your brain just gonna change no matter what you know so like that deep like seated shit i i don't think that just starts happening until like y'all have damn near done with y'all like growth as a person people don't change all that much like as far as like their antics and shit like that. They say they do, and they say they do certain things, but I think as things go down, people don't change all that much. But for them to lock in like that, that's just an opinion. You know? I think you gotta hit that age, at least biologically. You know? But I don't know, people will, I think, will scream me different. High school, CD hearts, and all types of shit, you know? Mm -hmm. But I just believe those people who grew together perfectly, you know? Some people do. Like, just because y'all grew up doesn't mean your guys' brains are going to make each other hate each other. Like, you know, you guys grew up and then still found a way to, like, love each other. But say you guys didn't change at all, it's crazy. You guys just end up growing together and it worked out. But some people grow up and then it doesn't work out. But just because you guys were in love at one point, it's not the same people no more, you know? Yeah, that shit just got to be okay. You know, I, was, I think the... The general thing is is a big factor in like time and stuff. Cause it's like how you mentioned you, you need like that time to grow, like you need to develop. Mm -hmm. And now I'm saying you need to give yourself time to feel like pain yeah. and shit like that. You know, like it's just it's time related, and you can spend your day doing a lot of things, mm -hmm. but the main thing is to give it to yourself. You know, and and we we've, we've, we've touched on this topic probably sometimes like just on our own it's like and i'm just using this because it, it makes more sense to us but it's like to go home after working or in, actually investing eight hours into a job and going home and not investing a single you know half hour into yourself like that's it's terrible it blast you you know because you could turn on the tv you could relax you could be on your phone and stuff like that but investing time into yourself like that's such a big thing mm. you know the things that you take in every day is gonna shape how you think way later on you know it's like small shit too 
Like I realize that I wake up in the morning and I go straight to social media. If I'm not, yeah. you know, on social media, I'm looking at the news. Mm. Like yeah. it's almost like toxic because it's like I don't hop off my shit till I done seen everything, which God knows how long that could take. Or till I see some shit that's like hella bad that makes me want to take my phone off. Like another car crash just happened. Oh, like people got kidnapped. Like I'm like, damn, I can't see this shit and get my phone away. You know? And it's just like everything that you choose to like pay attention to is gonna like fuck with you. It's gonna benefit you. So with breakups, with jobs, with just overall development, it's it's a really time oriented thing. You know, you need to give time to to let things grow or let things marinate, and then you're gonna just you're gonna move through it. Mm. And if you right now are going through like a breakup or a hardship or something just happened, first of all, you know, accept it. <laughs> That's really real. Accept it, and and learn how, and then just see how you could like like le- like not learn from it because you know somebody passes. Like, what are you gonna learn? You know. But just saying that don't feel like you just stuck in that spot. Like make sure that you're moving it and you're doing something for yourself, you know. And everything's just gonna put right into place. You know. It may not it may not make sense now or a year from now. But you're gonna look back at it and be like, you know what, I'm glad I got out that funk. And honestly, good for you. You made it this far. You know, give yourself credit. I think me and Sincere both know, like, the hardships of just starting shit and how much doubt yeah. we get and stuff. Just starting anything. Yeah, bro, talk <laughs> like, about starting shit. Yeah, I was saying. You know say. what's a weird thing to think about? What? Okay, so starting shit is great and all. Yeah. What do you feel like you have to do to make, like, yourself feel complete, though? Starting to you feel complete? No, like what do you what do you feel like you, you mean, like what do you feel like you have to do like get done to feel complete? Mm. End of the day, last day, like oh. what has to get done for you to feel complete? Yeah, well, and then well, that's I feel yeah. like that's an important question because I feel like that's gonna kind of answer or kind of make you think about what are you starting? Yeah, because if you feel like like if once you get down to that root cause of like what are you trying to get done at the end of the day could really help you answer like what do you need to start with mm. you know I mean that's a good one cuz I, I feel like if I plan my day it's good but it's bad when just like life happened you know like I got I'm supposed to go to the grocery store at one o'clock. I'm supposed mm-hmm. to start cooking at two o'clock. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't literally mean the day. I yeah. mean like final death day. My like, final what do you need to do day. to oh, feel complete? Okay, that's a yeah. Totally question. <laughs> yeah. I, my bad. I, I did not understand yeah. like that. So, if I know my time is coming mm-hmm. and it's on a specific day, then what do I have to do in the time that I have left? Yeah. You know, to feel like okay. Yeah. I can rest in peace now. Not even like know what you have time is coming. Like, what do you feel like right now? You just gotta get done. Oh, you, okay. Oh, yeah, that's even better. Time coming, yeah. yeah, I mean, honestly, bro, I I be living in my head a lot, bro. I yeah. be just thinking about shit. Like I I done told you, you know, like just today, like, cause I I heard it, you know. But it was like, you can get started on children's book, you know. And in my head, like, I'm like, yeah, like there's some creative things that I, I do want to get out there. Yeah, the kids read children's books. Yeah, if it's you know, like, is it still around? Or? Like, do they fuck with them like that? I mean, yeah. I, I thought they're more just like in the quick videos and shit. I mean, I uh, just any type of creative way yeah, to yeah. get something out there to say, yeah. hey, this is m- <laughs> like my gift to you. Mm. You know, it's a piece yeah. of my mental that I was able to get out yeah, and I like that. make it physical. You know, and I think that's one thing that's gonna be big for me is making mm. shit up here. Just come out into here, mm. you know. Like if it's if it's not just book and animated short, you know, mm-hmm. uh, some type of like book or something, something just show how yeah. creative I could be. I like I told you before, I have dreams every fucking night, mm. you know. And if you saw the shit that I saw when I dream and shit, bro, it's like what the fuck was that, mm. you know? And it's it's crazy because it's only something that I know to myself, and that's a lot of the shit. 
that I have even when I'm awake. Like, oh, if only like I can get this going and get that going and stuff. And you ask me how my day is, I just mm-hmm. had a complicated ass mental state. And you ask me how my day, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. So You know something weird? What? Is that I've noticed I've been having dreams, but my dreams don't feel like dreams. Yeah. Because my dreams just don't have nothing crazy going on. Mm. Like I have very specific like what I thought were memories about things going on. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that shit didn't happen at all. Like, oh shit. Like I'm like, oh shit, this ha- shit happened yesterday. I'm like, no, I just dreamed that part. And then like I'll picture something that I was once worried about, like the day before, or like something like like say if you was walking over there, right? And then like I see you walk by something. Like I will like in my head picture something that you could have been doing over there. Mm. Like I like, oh, what if he just had like slipped that shit in his pocket over there? Or like what if he goes and just like rips down the counter? Like what's the reaction that shit all falling, right? And nigga, like I'll just have like a regular ass i I'll just have a regular ass scenario dream. Mm. Like it'd just be like weird shit that like I thought I like slipped in my pocket or something. Stuff, yeah. Or like and then I'm like, oh shit, did that shit happen last night? I'm like, oh wait, no. And like, that thing doesn't even exist. So that's not yeah. even around right here. You I was going to say, uh, but it'd just be like weird, calm shit. Like, yeah. I'm not. I was going to say to, to kind of like help you differentiate them. And I mean, this is probably a good thing for anybody who wants to like, you know, lucid dream or just, you know, have something like in their sleep to know if they dream or not. Because I have some vivid dreams sometimes, bro. Like, I feel like it's real life. Or I get to a point where I'm like, why is this happening? Like, what led up to this? And I don't know, like I like I bite my like, mm, like I bite it, cause mm. you can't feel pain in your dream. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when I feel like this, or like when I do this in my dream and I know I'm like, oh, I'm dreaming, then I can slip out of it. And How often one, do you bite two, yourself three. when you're not dreaming? When I'm not dreaming? Yeah. I mean, I don't question it like that. Like oh, yeah. when you're in your dream, you're like, what the fuck is it? Yeah. You know? but That's you when I start know. to yeah. Have yeah. I ever done it in person? <laughs> I mean, probably like once. You or never twice. had no question of moments. You're like. Once or twice, probably. I was like, I was like, "Uh," I was like, yeah, I felt that. Uh, But, oh, sorry. Uh, For me to feel complete, I would have to have started something on my own and watched it grow. Uh, But the two main things is I got to see my mom happy and I got to see my son happy. Mm. Like, if I don't see that, then I can't die. Okay. What would you consider them happy? Because I would consider your son happy right now. Well, man, you I'm know? talking. I'm talking like. Like, do you mean them both well off? T- yeah, like long term oh, okay. happy, so they ain't gotta worry about anything. Okay. You know. Yeah. So what the weather's gonna be? Oh, okay. You know? Cause I'm pretty sure if they're gone, they're not gonna be. Yeah. No, I mean they're not gonna. But the house though. Yeah. But I think it's like yeah. just giving them. Everything they deserve. Give giving them a life past my own. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think a lot of people that I talk to and communicate with have been affected by me in a positive way. But also there's those few that, you know, just shit didn't work out, you know. Like the nigga you beat up in the park. Like the nigga I beat up in the park. Appreciate didn't feel very positive. It did not feel very positive. You know? <laughs> he went right back to his girl and it was like, this is awkward, you know. It's fuck. Yeah. It was very anyway. Yeah. It was a great day for me. Yeah. But, you know. Big dub, big dub. Big dub. Yeah. But no, I mean like I'm, I'm He didn't genuinely... even know. He was getting his ass whooped either way, nigga. <laughs> he had no idea I was pulling up. Man. Yeah. Oh yeah. If I would have pulled up the parking, you're getting beat up, nigga. I think it was getting oh, beat bro, up for sure. That shit would have yeah. yeah, been crazy. I appreciate it, but yeah. I didn't need it. So. Yeah, I was hella late, nigga. I didn't even see him, I don't think. You did not. It yeah. ended so fast. <laughs> I mean was Who got crazy? punched? I don't know, bro. Anybody? I don't know. Did it feel like someone was punching? I think so. I I remember me dodging punches. Yeah. Really? I wasn't like in the position. Oh, how many like, punches were thrown? A lot. Like three. Oh, really? Towards me. Yeah. Okay, you gotta describe how it started, bro. I forgot. I'm I'm hazy on the on the details, man. Shit, bro. For real. Yeah. Okay. So when you know. Okay. So we already know it's at a park. You know. Yeah, we already know it's at a park. So were you all were texting before this. Yes, I had just gotten out the dentist. Trigger finger turned to Twitter finger. Yeah, you I, got just, out the dentist? I just got out of dentist. I was on my bus. And then you sent that nigga back in. That's why I was like a little like younger. I didn't have a car back then. But I was you said, like, hold on. I got a recommendation for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just. I was, These niggas are uh, great. <laughs> hitting on the, the bus. I was hitting yeah. back and I got the message like, hey, like pussy is over for you. Oh, like, you done that's what he too said? Far. Yeah, he like, said you done pussy step too is far, over like, for you. Like you done step too far. Like I'm really going to beat your ass like little bitch and stuff. This nigga's a high school villain. Yeah, bro. and I was just like, you know, I wasn't like Facebook. I was like, okay. 
If like, I see you on rush block yeah, again, he was like, you're I'm, I'm finna whoop your ass right now. I was like, you can't. I'm on a bus coming back from the dentist. Yeah. He was like, I don't care. Meet me up, pussy. Oh, and you, and you said you like, can't fight because you're at the dentist? No, no, no. He was like, he's going to beat me up at that moment. I was oh. like, that's actually physically impossible. Oh, like, right, like, You have no idea where I'm at. Like, <laughs> yeah, do you think you're at home or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, bro, I, like, I was like, hey, look. Like, if you serious about this shit, like, yeah. this is where to meet me at. Uh-huh. Because you was all game. Yeah, and then when we got there and stuff, I was like, okay. Well, actually, I went to my house first, dropped off my bag and stuff. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. You know, you didn't put, get ready or anything? Put some shorts on and shit. Did you, you have know, a little moment of getting ready? Um, I mean, the only moment I got really ready was, like, right before I'm about to see him at the park. Because uh-huh. I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, I'm too calm right now. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, there's no way I should be this calm. Like, I should yeah. feel some type of adrenaline. To, that like, confidence, Yeah, though. it's just like, I got to... But oh, that adrenaline would have helped, though. Oh, just in know? case you got hit. Yeah, you know? You know? Because in case... It could have came from anywhere. I didn't yeah. know. Like, I was too calm about situation. Because, you know, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm standing in the middle of the field. This is your victory story. At the park. <laughs> and uh, I, see him pull, I see him pulling up, you know, this guy's bag and everything, and he... He sees that we in the middle of some place, and he's like, oh, I don't want to do it here. Like, we should go somewhere private where nobody else could see us. Oh, thinking, so y'all at one place? Yeah, Where'd y'all we, go first? That was just a part. Oh. It was just a part. But he, he like, suggested that. And I was like, I'm not following you anywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, like, you said you want to do it. Here yeah. we are. Like, like, what's the point of, like, walking, walking around anywhere? Together? Yeah. Like, like, what is, like, we supposed to have, like, like build rapport or some shit? Like, fuck what? Oh God! Um, how you supposed to stay angry on a walk together? Yeah, like you can't. Like, I'm supposed to just walk behind them and shit. Like, I'm like, I should just. <laughs> you gonna be walking aggressive? Yeah. So you can see like, how big his like back how you is. Walk like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Hips moving off ass. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, no. And then you know, standing there, I was like, bro, it don't. It really don't gotta be this way. Like, what are we actually here for? Like, no. You know, he said his whole spiel and stuff like that, and it's like defending. No, I want to hear his spiel. Well, you said, what do we got to do this for? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, not, so you was kind of like, you was even like, really I'm kinda... actually, I'm going to be very real with you, bro. I don't know what the fuck I am, you know? What you mean? Like, I can't feel like bad. I, I was getting vibes from his shorty that, like, she was trying to, like, fuck on me and stuff. And so, like, and I feel terrible for this now because it's like, damn. But I was really young, you know, and I, I, I don't know. Like, we was having, like, good time and stuff. Why like, do you feel bad? I feel bad because, like, I don't I don't like to impede in people's, like, relationships or nothing shit like that. Like, I, I'm all good off of it. Like, Who like let you into their relationship? Uh, It was Shorty. Like, like I'm talking about, like, so I'm saying, Shorty, why do like, you Shorty feel bad? was, like, there and, like, I no one could let of, somebody yeah. in their relationship unless they let her. Unless you somebody, know? yes. You obviously, somebody, how yeah. can you care about her relationship more than her? I'm just saying, bro. Like, it's, like I'm, she was I'm in just, the same room kissing him, sucking his dick, talking about I love you. How are you going to care about more than her? Oh, bro, there's some fuck. Oh, bro, I got, you feel I me? Gotta take that shit. I'm going to tell you that shit. When I'm she was gonna, like, when she was fucking with you, she was like, and she knew all that shit. Yeah, she did. You know what she didn't think about like, like, you know? But, hold up. I was like, you can't care about that shit more than her. I acted on it, and then it was like, like reality kicked in, she was like, "Oh wait, I got a boyfriend." And I was like, "Oh, mm. oh shit!" Dinner. Yeah, no, I, I was like, "I was like, oh shit, it's okay." No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, was hate again? Cause it was like, it. "Oh, like, cause, like I reacted on it." You reacted on what? Like that feeling. I was like, "Oh, so you trying to like do something?" Like, so I, I put him like, did a move, and it was like just like, "Oh, like nah." And I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." And it was like, oh, "Okay, so you, so you persisted on it." Yeah. And then she said no. Like, I act on something. She said no. And I was like, okay, respectfully. Like, okay, yeah. She like, so oh, she then, didn't fuck with she you. Said, yeah. Then she said like, I got a boyfriend. So I was like, okay, like, yeah. yeah, my bad and shit. Like, you know. So I, I like dip because it wasn't yeah. really like much yeah. else to like. And then he hit you up. And then yeah, next day they hit me up when I was coming back from the dentist. Mm, yeah. Okay, okay. And so then she didn't fuck with you, and then yeah, no. And yeah. then I was you just like, just tried. Yeah, <laughs> you just tried it. <laughs> just, you just tried it. That's different. Nigga. That's yeah, different. yeah. What? And so it was kind of like your fault, bro. You're yeah, a piece of yeah, shit. No, I was, that's what I was gonna say, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like I feel bad because like that was some childish right. shit for me. On oh, God, yeah, it's not necessary to put yourself in. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I was That's like, you know, shot, he was yeah, like, like, you know, it's for this. Like, it was disrespectful and stuff like that. And it was just like, it wasn't going to go nowhere did but that. Did you know that she had a nigga? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Because you met him before, right? Yeah, I met him way before that. Like, as them, as for them to get, as them together? Yeah, I met him before. But like, they'd be, like, on and off and shit. Yeah, so yeah. But like, you for sure knew that they were together? No. I didn't for sure knew, because, like, 
the vibe I want to say like the vibes that I had like but it was something that I could have still begged the question you know or asked the question cause yeah like, well what'd you try to do uh what do you mean like what like what was the move nigga? like what was the move? yeah what'd you say <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know oh bro it's just been a while like I, I, oh. I don't know what your moves is bro what'd you say no, I'm saying like, yeah, I was definitely yeah, younger. Don't try like, to get I, no, I, was, saying, I was definitely like younger and stuff. So like, I, I would not do this like at any point in time today. Cause yeah, I'm saying I'm don't be shy about it. But you're no, a kid. I'm just, just saying, saying like, yeah. I want to just set a preface out there that like. I just want to know what you know the yeah. story, bro. It's I think like I grabbed her ass like with both my hands. Uh, from the front or back of her? Uh, from the front, I think. So you like reached around her and like yeah. grabbed her ass, and then yeah. she was like, "I got yeah. a boyfriend." It wasn't like a super hard push. Too. It was just kind of like, "Oh, this is not a good idea." And I was like, oh, "Okay, yeah." And yeah. I, don't, I don't, I don't really want to say like. It's kind of weird for you to do, bro. Yeah, I was gonna say like it. Was, he should have beat your ass. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, Which makes the rest sure. of the story so much it's, better. I should have gotten my ass beat, but I wasn't gonna get my ass beat. You know. <laughs> okay, so you just hello calm. You walk into the park. Yeah. No, At one I, point, am I texting you through this shit? Uh, right before I get to the park. Yeah, because what did like, you say? I was like, hey, bro, like, like I know, like, dude, like, on football, like, yeah. you know, talking about his homies a lot and shit yeah. like that. So, like, just in case there's anybody, like, oh, oh extra, I got, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was I, pulling <laughs> out for extras. I forgot. Yeah, I, I showed up by my fucking self. Yeah. <laughs> and you know the what? The bus was late, bro. I, was, <laughs> I can't tell them to hurry up. Yeah, I was nigga. just in the front, <laughs> like, Ugh. Yeah, no, that's yeah, very true. That's very true. But, I mean, you know, in a real, like, men type of shit, like, they showed up by themselves, like, mm-hmm. just looking to do business because yeah. they had nothing to do with anybody else except for them. Yeah, he could have went there and got jumped. Had the case Which was where he going where was more a... people showed up, I would have got jumped the fuck up, nigga. Yeah, but he showed up by himself. He hey, the same. We could have jumped him, bro. I mean, I would have not. I would not say that. Like, like if my face is bleeding, bro. No, like I don't care, bro. We're jumping. Okay, but no, I'm saying like unless I'm saying you don't. I'm face, saying I know you're a man, bro. Face, I know you want to like... handle your ones, bro. Toughing out, but I just don't care, bro. Okay, I see I, I million dollar that. baby, bro. We're jumping <laughs> that nigga off back, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But anyway, so it was just kind of like fight you know, back, nigga. Fight back, nigga. <laughs> Uh, you know, yeah, we don't get no bro, resolution. I'm there's touched. no, there's no way talking about it. Like, no, I, I, been, I blatantly disrespected like the whole shit. You nobody, know? bro, nobody I care about is fighting, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I if I see so. him, bro, I'm helping him out instantly because that's a situation where two people are trying to harm each other. Yeah. I don't know what the other person's intention is at the end yeah, of the day. That's true. You know, but and for, I'm not gonna, yeah. I can't watch anyone I care about. Like what? Get punched in the face for respect? For what? Nigga, I don't give a fuck what was going on. Yeah, we gotta go home at the end of the day. Like this little honestly, stupid ass yeah. socking I, shit. I, what does it really mean? Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna understand. have my people win. I don't care how it is. If I can inflict the win, I don't give a fuck. Man, woman, child. Like you're not beating up nobody I care about. You know. Yeah, I feel you. You're getting kicked in the stomach. This energy son, was nigga. not there that day, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't there. Nigga. Yeah, I was trying. Well, I mean, you didn't seem like, like, even after the fact, when you was walking towards the area we were supposed to meet up, nigga, you was like... Nigga, bro, I jogged over there. Nigga. You know, you fucked up, bro. Jogged. From the buzz, nigga, I was like off of 82nd or whatever. Damn, nigga, it was like boy. 10 blocks, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> nah. Nah, I mean, bro, my was backpack was, was like 30 pounds. Hey, nigga, was like, like, he was there. Yeah, man, fucking school was like, just tough, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was there. No time it was like other bro. shit going on. I just got back from the dentist, bro. But like, no, I nigga, I just showed up like, where the nigga at, bro? What the fuck? Like, yeah. no. Nigga, but if he was there, nigga, we were going to fight him. Yeah. But that was it. But like, you know, like, uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, so you're talking that was not going to happen, right? Yeah. So just like, square off, I think. Yeah, what was and, his spill? Like, what did he say? He was just, I don't know. He just want to be my. Oh, uh, he was on your ass, bro. Yeah, I think he just, you know, had some shit with me. Yeah, like, I think know. he saw you too. Like, I think he thought he could just whoop your ass. Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. No, I feel like a lot of people think that. Too, yeah, you know. But uh, yeah, Not so the like, head, but you know. yeah, I say like, you know, and so we squared off and. We shit. taller than you too. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you just saw bigger than you and all that. Yeah. yeah. Even like, yeah, yeah, he's ever talking about that. Yeah. Um. Mm. Square off and shit, and it's like, uh, like I don't know what I do. I, I don't know if who like, do the first punch. Uh. I would say it was me, but like it wasn't like a like a. Like, What'd you do? I was like gauging like what his reaction would be, mm-hmm. you know. So it's like a what do they call it in boxing? Pump fake. Like a pump fake or like a, they call it something in boxing though. Like where you like jab? Like, no, like just that like that faint pump. I think it's just a faint. faint? Yeah. yeah, like yeah. just that like you know I do like little like fake yeah. to see how you act. And then he, like, if my hand's, like, this way and I retract it back, like, his reaction time was after I was coming back, he was like this. Oh, he did this. Like, he was going to try grabbing my yeah, hand. Yeah, you know, Like, it was fucking kung fu very, Yeah, I was say, very so, bold move. 
but like it made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that part. You know, if, if, like he was gonna, if, mm -hmm, like catch you, like fucking Dragon Ball Z movie or something. If he did like? do that, that'd be some like. I'll be like ah, ah to the knees and shit. <laughs> but the fact that it didn't happen and like he did that, I was like, oh yeah, I'm so good. Like bro, I I don't know what it was, bro. Cause hey, to be real, I'm not I'm not a fighter like that. You know, yeah. I'm I'm a real peaceful dude. Like I don't I don't be like conflicting shit like that. You know, so this was definitely out of my character. Like I don't mm -hmm. know why I was in there, but it was definitely me. Like I should have, you know, that was me yeah. owning up to it. Cause I so you threw the no first good. punch. You said, mm -mm. Like, yeah, and then what? That. And then like, I chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm like like oh shit. And in my head, I was like, yeah. Did he react to you chuckling? At him? Yeah, yeah. Cause in my head, I was like, cause if I re-chuckled, I was cause in my head, I was like super like confident. I was just like, he doesn't know how to fight. <laughs> like yeah it, it's like and I, I really don't know if that's true or not i mm -hmm. i didn't really get to see a lot of it because i'm explaining here but yeah so i chuckle and then you know obviously they get mad like you get laughed at in the fight to get mad so he like charged them you know yeah. so his shoulder hit my, my my abdomen and like he like tackled me to the ground right so now he on top of me right and i i don't know what this was it's like a weird wrestling match nobody got their ass beat for real i'm just gonna be, i'm gonna be honest with y'all you know mm. this is spoiler so like he's on top of me and shit and he weighed like you know probably like 30 pounds more than i do mm -hmm. you know or no he might not be I, so what y'all just know. like hugged and it fell he's on top of me right now how'd you and, and he though? was about to because he tackled me oh he just he, ran and he, and tackled he, he you. charged his uh thing at me and he got you I in the stomach like, yeah, I appreciate Ooh, it. Like, I hit good. the ground. He speared yeah. you, nigga, yeah, like edge. <laughs> like edge. Uh, I'm on the ground and shit, and he's on top of me. And in my head, I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Like, mm. out that little position. So, like, and then I don't know what I did, but, like, just standing flat here, like, or on the ground, like, I just, like, flipped both of us. And, like, uh, now I'm on top of him. Okay, right? use your hips. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're supposed yeah. to do. Plant your feet down, shoulders. I don't know what the fuck I did, bro, but yeah. I was not on the ball. You did that, trust me. And then he, yeah, then he had like my, my hands right here and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like all his strength to just holding my hands down, bro. Like, and I swear to God. Well, why you on top of him? Yeah. Like, oh, he's just trying to hold yeah, you. Yeah, like, I, I don't know how I did, but I was like this, like, and my hands right here on his chin. I'm trying to pull them shits out, and he's like holding in, and I'm yeah. like slowly gripping like out of it. And in my head, I was like, as soon as I get one hand out, <laughs> I'm punching the shit out this nigga. <laughs> shit out this nigga, bro. You and better then, not let go. Then, like, just face to face. And then, like, 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 we was just like, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know how I think like this during mm. the fight. But he was like, let me get up. Right. <laughs> right. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Cause in my head I was like, stupid. If, I don't know, if, like I really could have like, like fucked it up right there. Cause in my head it's like, if I'm gonna fight you, I'm gonna fight you. That's like what you man. do when you get on time. I know. I'm saying like, if I'm gonna fight head you against the floor, and, and I'm saying like, shit. You know, I'm not really that much of like that type of person. So like, my oh, first okay. few times, like I was like, whoa, you know. But like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, honor, get up. Yeah, and get I was up. like, you know what? Like, we gonna fight like men. You know, mm -hmm. get up and you gonna throw your punches and shit like that, and then we just gonna trade them till one of us hit the ground, like for real. Yeah, you know. So like, you know, I said, all right, fuck, I get up. You know, like I, I get back in my position and shit, and like he takes a few steps back, and then he's just like, I don't want to fight no more. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I was like, what? Like, what are you doing this for? And he was like, I don't know. I don't even care about that bitch. And like he like called her and shit, like while I was there, Bro, and like starts talking fuck? shit to her. You know, like why did you give me <laughs> why this you position? Give me <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And Zico's I was gonna like, punch me in the face, bro. Yeah. Bro, and like, cause bro, I, I don't know why I think this way, right? I was like, what the fuck? Like, hey, bro, like you say you're trying to do this, like what's yeah. up with it? He was like, nah, like I don't care about this, like this bitch, yeah. his words. I don't care about this bitch. Like I'm just finna, like I'm done. Like I'm not gonna yeah. be here. There's no point for me. I was like, I said like it was kind of pointless for us to fight, you know, but yeah. whatever, you know, like. I agree with you. I don't really feel like doing it like that, yeah. you know. Um, I mean, I was there's nothing for me to prove there, you mm -hmm. know. And so, I was like, "So what?" He was like, "I don't got no beef with you no more." And then, like, I think he like reached his hand out, and then like he like dapped up, and then it was just, him, man. just the end of it. Yeah, he shouldn't have, man. Yeah. No, he shouldn't have that me up. I was in the wrong 100%, bro. <laughs> like, there's no reason why 
<laughs> there was like that just level of just yeah. You. There was like no wrong, reason man. for me to like <laughs> gotten all of that like yeah. like you know. So he tried to punch you and then he tackled you. He got yeah, to tackle me. At least. He got tackled me and then I'm pretty sure in his head he was like, okay, now I'm finna beat the so fuck out this. All dude. you do is flip him over. Yeah. And then and then squared off. He was like, mm-hmm. let me up. <laughs> yeah. And then just squared off against him because I was really I, I wasn't say no. Well, cause I'm not gonna like for me I don't like I don't see it as like a fair fight if I'm just on top of you just like. Well, how shit. did you get there? How did I get there? Yeah. Cause he tackled me. Yeah. What and you then you flipped him. Then I flipped him. Yeah. So why you get on? The, he's it's his fault. He wanted to fight on the ground. Yeah. I'm not that though. Like like for me it's like it's it's our hands you know finna do like. You yeah, know? you were finna use your hands. You're, I know you're that, but I'm to, saying right? like I don't know, bro. That's what I'm telling you. Like I wouldn't fight that way now, cause it's like, hey, bro, if you pick something with me, like you are gonna see it through. You yeah. know, like you now on the part. So now if you was enemy. on top, you decking the thing out, or yeah. you letting him up and just refight him. Yeah, no, nah, I'm Which probably. One? I mean, just depends on like the severity of it. But if it's somebody really aiming to hurt me in mines, like mm. I'm, I'm not taking no chances. Yeah. Like that shit right there, You're like a fucking robber. Get up. Yeah, <laughs> I about to say like, like back then, like. Take a sense of being. I was, yeah, I was, I was a little bit like more sympathetic towards yeah. like a lot of things. Yeah. But like, I, I was pretty stupid on my behalf because let's say he got up and then he got that good swing on me. Uh-huh. It would, I would have been. And the then you would have been out in the park by yourself. Yeah. You could have been kicking the I shit out you and shit. Top, and but I was like, nah. Just out your unconscious shit, body and shit, drooling and shit. Yeah. Could have been for the rest of your life just stupid. Like, you know, yeah, I would have, yeah. But no, nah, I was, as you could tell, like, I'm perfectly fine now. Like, I'm brain fucked up. You got to amputate I'm, your I'm foot. Flawless, like you hopping bro. around. Like, you know. yeah. And I mean, that, that shit was stupid, you know? Maybe so it's like, I laugh at it now. The whole thing like, was dumb, yeah. Yeah, I laugh at it now because it's like, <laughs> I just got out the dentist, bro. Like, <laughs> 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 like what the fuck, yeah. bro? Like, like, it was just a weird was Tuesday the morning, fight you know? Never had. Yeah, yeah, just like the most. Wait, like, it was in the morning y'all fought? I don't know. It was like sun time. Well, I knew the sun was out. I don't think it was at nighttime. Oh, okay. Enough for like the dentist the to the be day. open. So anywhere yeah. from <laughs> 8 a.m. Like, to 5 p.m., yeah. something happened in between yeah. that, you know? That's it's funny, probably like funny. around noon or some shit. I don't, yeah. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm just uh, that's your only fight? Uh, Serious fight? Yeah, I would say so. What was your not serious fight? I mean, like when I was a kid and stuff. Like, It was a fight when you were a kid? Yeah. Against who? Just some like I don't know some like neighborhood kids. Really? Kids in the neighborhood, yeah. People you be beating up or no? I mean, I don't like know because I was little, but I knew it. How happened. little, bro? I'm pro- I mean, elementary school for sure. Yeah, like, but at a certain age, nigga, scraps like, are scraps, you know. I don't know, bro. I don't. I don't really think I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really think I got that much of like a fighting resume, you mm. know. I just know like to myself that like even though you don't go pick fights, you still be prepared for one. Yeah. That's how I think. Yeah, like I'm not so you be prepared gonna, for fights. Yeah, I'm not gonna be an aggressive. How do you be prepared for fights? How do I be prepared? Yeah. Just like, like I, I feel like every hyper- time I walk to my kitchen, I do a three piece <laughs> to a punching bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying like just understanding like the ins and outs of it. Oh, you know, like how you like read a person's body and stuff, like when they're actually looking to do harm to you, and like how comfortable you should be in an uncomfortable situation, you know. It's really something not like it, it's very hard to put yourself in that position, but for me, I think about days where I would lose something if I wasn't on yeah. top of my shit. You but know? you don't do anything to prepare for fights. Well, like, I mean, like, I, like, what do you mean, like, go pick fights or no? You know like, you just don't do anything to prepare to like to defend yourself. Yeah, I do. I mean, like I don't do anything to prepare to defend myself. Yeah, no, but I'm saying like, like you have like that knack. So like, you did like you know boxing for a yeah. Few like I've I've stuff. I've done training things that like, like okay, I could use to defend myself. Yeah, like I don't actively do anything that no. I didn't do to protect. Like you know. Yeah, I feel like, like I don't actively have any boxing classes that I'm going to. I don't yeah, actively. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have any... If anything like that, then mm-hmm. like I wouldn't really like say yeah. Yeah, but because like, I wouldn't say like you're actively learning how yeah. to defend yourself. View, view videos, yeah, not like know, classes and stuff, and right? like training or anything. Yeah, or, you but know. I think it's also like, what's your strong suit and what's your weak suit? Like, when are you gonna be caught at your best, and how often can you be at your best? You know, yeah. Like, are you trained to improve that at all? Caught lacking. I mean, bro, it's like it's it's. I don't know what you mean by train. Like, if I'm going to a class for it, no. 
You no. know, am I like doing things in my house? Like, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Like what? Like I, I know the ins and out of my house. If somebody breaks in, like I know how to navigate <laughs> like, through my house. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm just confused on like what you're really asking. No, that's not what I'm saying. I was like, no, no. Like, like working out. No, like I know, no, no, no. I hear what you're saying. No, I hear what you're saying. But the like that. Like if I was like, I know the ins and out of this house, bro. Like yeah, <laughs> like everybody who been to the bathroom does. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like just for me, like knowing just... the ins and out of like the White House is like, oh yeah, huh? Damn, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, for you, but this no. cave, I know the ins and out of this cave. But I think <laughs> like, like, yeah, I think it's just being aware of like your surroundings and stuff like that, and like putting in your mind that like, hey, this is a potential something. Uh, like yeah. gives you a better edge than being a place you don't know where you're at, you yeah. know, or like you don't so know how to control cautious. your emotions. Yeah, it's yeah. like that. So you're it's mentally like, prepared. Yeah, it's like something yeah. where like it's just gonna like translate. It's like I get my ass beat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I walk out, <laughs> heard you prepared, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Mentally prepared. Oh, yeah. This, man. like yeah. I thought about it. <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be funny. I mean, it's possible too. I'm not gonna say I'm fucking Hulk or anybody yeah, crazy. No, but I'm just somebody who pays attention to my surroundings and tries to like keep myself yeah. like poised and calm and shit. So that way, I, when I do act to it, I'm not like just like wailing and fucking close my hands and shit, just going off. Yeah. You know, like I want to be more of like a state of focus. Yeah. And so I try like prepare myself mentally up here too, and like I do do physical things and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. So Start it's training like, again. <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah, you get back yeah. in your runs. Uh, not runs yet, but I'm definitely looking to get some shit like like uh, endurance built up. What have you sure. been back on? I mean, it's been like something new. You know, I'm always off and on again on, and bro, shit. Something. Huh? Give me something. What are you back on? Like, what are you back doing? Like, you working with the bench press and shit again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and like overall, just like yeah. like getting like my body. But I don't got no workout plan. Nothing. Nigga, shit. Yeah. I mean, it's not for everybody. Like. Yeah. For me, like the thing about like my dreams and stuff is, yeah. while it's like dreaming stuff, it does create like a lot of anxiety, because mm. like those are shit that I never knew could happen, but my dream made it a reality. You know, like I had a like a fucked up dream where like somebody came into like my house and just took over. You know, I was defenseless to it. You know, and like I I have felt through my dreams like real loss. You know, like because I chose to be like ignorant like something got taken away from me. And that's something that my dream made very apparent. Mm. Like my kid and stuff, like people I was supposed to care about, like just taking out my shit. And I was like weak to defend against that, mm. you know? So like up here is like my strongest weapon. It's also my biggest enemy too, cause it could put me like against myself. So, I mean, honestly, like, I'm talking for a little bit, bro. I don't even know, wow. I think I just said some personal shit. Mm. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I'm saying, like, for real, like, just being aware of your surroundings is always going to benefit you, mm -hmm. and being aware of, like, your current state of mind is always going to benefit you, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, we're using it in, like, a term, like, we got to defend against ourselves, yeah. but the fact that I felt so comfortable in that situation, yeah. like, I don't even know how, but I've been, like, trying to replicate that for a lot of other things, too, yeah. you know, like, if I'm at, like, work or something and it's a really tight deal i gotta like yeah. you know sign off and shit like just being yeah. poised and understanding like you got this you know yeah. and i don't know you might you might laugh but about it guys as much as you want to be prepared like the great mike tyson said everyone has a plan until you get, get punched, punched in the, the face, face. That is